Hey, my brothers and sisters in Christ, your brother Abel, just wanted to share a quick word with you before I get into all that. Just give praise to the Most High, because without Him, we're nothing. The title to this one is called, Careful How You Look at Things in Life. We'll be reading from 1 Peter 3, 3, 4. Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold, jewelry, or fine clothes. Rather, it should be that of your inner self the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. 1 Samuel 16, 7. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Sometimes, as believers and humans, when we take our eyes off the Lord, we end up in dangerous situations in life. Some people end up in relationships they should have they should have not been in. And many times men and women look for what's appealing to the eyes. So what happens? Sometimes you think it's attraction, but it could be a heavy lust spirit ready to cause a major distraction. So sometimes as humans, we fall into temptation. You wind up laying with someone you're not married to, but you open doors for lust demons such as Succubus and incubus spirits and other territorial spirits. I have a saying, every time you sleep with a woman or a man, you are sleeping with their demons, meaning what you created is called a soul tie with that other person. Many times people end up in toxic relationships, even to marriages. Some people end up in Jezebel and Ahab relationships and they don't know how they got there. This is just one of the mistakes mankind falls into. See, lust comes in many forms. Satan also can come to you in many forms. Here's an example. Genesis 3, 1, 7. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, we may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden and you must not touch it or you will die. You will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman, but God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good, for food and pleasing to the eye and so desirable for gaining wisdom. She took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened and they realized they were naked. See, when we don't walk with God and when our eyes are off God, this is where we fall. See, what people don't realize is the adversary studies you and watches you wisely. He can present something that looks beautiful to the eyes. It looks appealing, desirable, but it leads you to sin and the fall. So everyone, please self-examine your heart and your ways and keep God first and fix your eyes and heart and mind on Christ. See, what people don't look at is Satan came as a serpent and he entered in Judah's heart and he betrayed the Messiah. Jesus loves you. Shalom. P.S. Insecurities is not a spirit of God. Tell yourself you are beautifully made in God's image. You don't need to have a pound of makeup. You don't need to show off your body or have the latest fashion. Fellas, you don't need to be in competition with your brothers. You don't need the latest Jordans or iPhone or car. True beauty comes from within, not the outward appearance. Fix your heart on Christ and he'll fix the rest. God bless.